having to go pee. Can't put anything in my pockets, and I need both of my hands to piss. Women have to deal with a lot of things men don't. Makeup, catcalling, periods, the wage gap, and one thing that we don't really talk about a lot is pockets. Men's pants all have pockets, but most women's don't, or if they do, they can't really hold anything. So why are pockets a thing that are left out of most women's clothing? Today we're gonna talk to some people in the office, see how they feel about pockets, and then I'm gonna challenge four of my male colleagues to see if they can spend a day pocketless. Can we see what sort of pockets are on these? I don't put anything in my front pockets because they're usually too shallow. Whenever something has a pocket though, I'm like, <gasps> like a dress with pockets. I get annoyed with um, like blazers, like women's blazers. There's no pockets. We have more things to carry. Why not give us more pockets? People also make fun of women for always like putting their cell phone like in their boobs at clubs or whatever. And it's like, we have no pockets. What are you gonna give us? We're gonna use nature's pocket, which is our boobs. This is Elena with our research department. And I was wondering, Elena, if there's any historical context to why women's pants are either made without pockets or with small pockets. Women didn't historically wear pants for like a very long time. The 1600s, they wore these large dresses that had pouches underneath them that were like pockets. But at some point, big heavy skirts was no longer in fashion. Once they had slimmer frames for dresses, you couldn't hold anything inside of them anymore. That's when people turned to Purses. So it wasn't until the beginning of women's suffrage around the turn of the 20th century that pockets became this thing that to some activists represented freedom and mobility. Mm -hmm. There were notable suffragettes who would wear coats with many pockets on them. Now that we know a little bit more about pockets, let's meet the four guys who've agreed to live one day without them. I rely on my pockets for a lot of stuff, carrying my cell phone, my keys, my wallet. You know right away if you're missing something because you can feel it. I'm gonna have to apologize to every lady friend I have I always made fun of them for losing things. I love pockets so much that I used to only have cargo shorts in my wardrobe. In my pockets, I keep essential things. So actually I actually have my phone, my wallet. Used to have cigarettes in that pocket, not anymore. So I have my headphones now, and I have my chopsticks in the small pocket. I actually use it. I will be sewing these pockets up. Oh my god, these pockets are so big. Look at all this room, you could fit an iPad in here. I just left my house and I already forgot my wallet. It's gonna be a great day. I have a lot of confidence in myself at this point. It was really hard to get ready this morning because I left my work bag, hey Frankie, in the back of my car and I wasn't able to put my wallet, my keys, my phone, my work badge that I normally go in my pockets. I had to put them all in this hat because I'm going to a Dodger game tonight. Even Frankie's food bags are in the hat. Nearly less than 30 minutes and I already tried to put my wallet in my back pocket at least five times. So this is starting to stress me out a little bit. I am going to lunch right now and and I'm carrying my wallet and my keys in one hand. And it's just so frustrating to know that you might lose your things. So left the office and forgot my wallet on my desk because it's not in my back pocket like it normally would. During my lunch break, there was an ice cream truck. And after I got my ice cream, I realized I didn't have hands to eat the ice cream while holding my phone while walking home. And my ice cream melted. I've kind of discovered an alternative to pockets, which is my armpit. So I'm running around, not using my pockets, holding everything. People assume I'm like late for work and I'm looking for my car because I keep running around with keys. My keys are so annoying. So I'm at Dodger Stadium and I still have my badge on me and my wallet in my hat, my phone in my hand. And one of these fine gentlemen, poor lady, is going to hold my wallet. I mean, one of them is. The real struggle is that I have been constantly checking my pockets, making sure I have my keys, my phone, my wallet. And every time I check, there's nothing, and I freak out. They're stitched on, they're not real. What? If you do find pockets, they're like that deep. Are you serious? Wow. God damn, the amount of like sexism in just the simplicity of pockets on pants is crazy. It's kind of like inventing electricity, but living in the dark. All right, so today's over. I'm glad to take these pants off. Oh, yes, yes, pockets. How yeah. was your experience with no pockets? Uh, it was horrible. <laughs> Would you buy a pair of pants if it didn't have a pocket? No, I purposely avoid pocketless shorts for the gym. Because mm. if you're at the gym and you're changing machines, you need pockets. I've left so many things at the gym, like on the treadmill because you forget it, yeah. Why don't they just make pockets for old pants? Whether you're a girl, whether you're a guy, whether you're leggings. And I understand the, the functionality of like the purse and the handbag and the inconvenience of it all too. Sure. But now it makes sense like when I'm, you know, if I'm going out with a girl or I'm with, with someone, they're like, hey, can you hold on to this for me? Can you hold this for me? Oh, I mean, now I won't say I'm not your personal Sherpa. I'm sympathetic to everything. Okay, so there you have it. Life without pockets sucks for these four dudes, but most girls don't even realize that they've been finding other solutions for them this whole time. This is why girls love dresses with pockets. So guys, I don't know. 
Hold your girlfriend's purse sometimes, or don't. It doesn't. You don't have to. You figure out what works for your relationship, you know? Also, don't. why do people always make fun of girls for freaking out over pockets? It's like, no, they're the best thing.